Hello boys and girls, this is Anders Eel of course and welcome back to another cooking video with Anders. Today we're making lasagna. The things I will be using is minced beef, uh, red onions, tomatoes, cucumber, lettuce, cooking aluminium foil thingy, uh, we got some nice cheese, a lot of cheese of course, we got some lasagna plates, uh, pasteurized tomato sauce, got some bechamel sauce, ready made, I know I'm lazy, and a bunch of seasoning and similar. Most people like to use crushed tomatoes in their bolognese or their lasagna, I don't, I like to have it smooth because I don't like to get the stalks and other hard pieces that you can get in the crushed tomato cans, I think that's kind of shitty, so I prefer using the smooth kind, the pasteurized kind that I use and put a little bit of finely chopped tomato pieces in myself. You can of course switch out the red onions for jello. Put your stove on almost maximum and get a big pan so you can fit all of that good stuff. Just put in a little bit of the pasteurized tomatoes or your crushed tomatoes depending on what you end up using. Not too much though, just a little bit in the bottom so you can easily mix it around together with the minced beef or minced meat and make it smooth because we don't want any big lumps or at least I don't like any big lumps in my lasagna. I think it kind of ruins it and kind of makes it look like you put no love and effort into it. Then put the rest of the pasteurized tomatoes or crushed tomatoes in, uh, your leeks or, or your onions and your tomatoes but then we also want to have some seasoning. I personally only put in some salt, uh, some Tabasco and also some oregano. I think those go very well in a nice lasagna. Uh, you can of course season with whatever you feel to be your personal preference because seasoning is always kind of personal preference except if you're retarded and put in some really stupid shit like fucking dark chocolate or I, I don't know man. Pe people do a lot of weird shit. <laughs> Let it uh, cook up and, and then make sure you always stir it around so it doesn't burn in the bottom or nothing stupid like that until you see that it changes color from kind of bright red to kind of cooked and then you know it's done and you can actually turn off the plate and start making your actual lasagna. Okay guys, it is time to layer this beast and I think a lot of people do this in their own personal style or manner but this is how I like to do it. I like to put one layer of meat sauce and cheese or bechamel sauce in the bottom to make sure even the bottom plates are nice and soft when the whole thing is done. You don't want the bottom plates to be a hard as stone or, or like too chewy because that's gonna ruin the whole lasagna. Then I like to go every other layer with cheese and meat sauce and then every other layer with cheese and bechamel sauce. Don't cheapen out on the cheese because the cheese is gonna make your lasagna tasty as all fuck. I know it's unhealthy but remember even if you feel like you're using a huge amount of cheese this is gonna be like eight meals for god's sakes. At least the amount I'm making right here. You can of course make a smaller one or an even bigger one but it's a lot of food, you're not supposed to eat this alone at one sitting or something like that, I don't think you can unless you're like a champion food eater or something like that, but uh, yeah. Always finish with bechamel uh, sauce and cheese on top because you want that really nice crust in the end. Put it in the oven 200 degrees Celsius, don't know what that's in Fahrenheit, sorry guys. Now it's time for the salad vinaigrette. I start off with a base of a little bit of just regular tap water. I mean, if you have shitty tap water where you live, just put in like bottled water I guess. Then a little bit of Utta Gorge Krydda, that basically means herbal farm, I don't know, spice mix or something. Then some nice balsamico vinaigrette uh, or vinagre or whatever. <laughs> I, I, I'm not quite sure how you translate that. And a little bit of nice oil. And then of course whisk it uh, quite well with a fork. Don't use a spoon for God's sakes, don't be one of those morons. <laughs> So, the lasagna is doing great in the oven, but it's not really done yet. You can see it's starting to get golden brown, but not quite yet. Time to start with the salad. It's not a very fancy salad, it's very basic. It's some cucumbers, it's some iceberg lettuce and some cocktail tomatoes, but I really like it. Of course you can go fancy with some rucola, some pine nuts and all kinds of stuff in it, but this is the kind of stuff I like and it's, it's easy to make and I mean, for God's sakes, I'm still single, so I'm, I'm cooking for one person. I, I feel like it's a waste doing much more fancy stuff, but if you're cooking for a bunch of friends, for your girlfriend, for your boyfriend or whatever, uh, then of course you can go with a 
little bit more fancy uh, salad, of course. The cucumber is actually Swedish, but since it hasn't gotten quite the sun it needs, I opt to remove half of the skin. I don't want to remove too much, because the skin has a lot of flavor in it as well, but I remove half of it because I, I tasted it previously, like one slice, and it wasn't all that great. Uh, the tomatoes, I don't want to slice them too much. I want to have some nice pieces, so I just kind of divide each one in four pieces and I slice them a little bit on the length and a little bit on the side, making some nice shapes on them. Not, nothing special, but just good enough to, to make it, it look appealing and tasty. And when it comes to the iceberg lettuce, I like to rip it. Don't, don't be one of those people that actually shop it. That's, that's not good. You want to rip it. Just rinse it out, take out all of the bad parts, and then just put it in your hand, squeeze it hard, and rip apart it. It's gonna taste better, it's gonna have more of the vinaigrette on it, and it's just gonna, it's gonna be better, okay? Just, just trust me on this, okay? The lasagna is done, it might not look golden brown and crispy, but just listen to me putting my knife through it. Mmm, that sounds yummy. Mmm, 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 you could actually see it smoking, look at that beauty. But, I think there's something missing. We must get it, quickly. There, precious, precious, yes, yes, yes! Oh, that's going to be good for you. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. As always, have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.